Hi everyone, it's Rich here from the Strengthening Disabled People's user led organisation programme. I thought I'd just do a quick video update on uh, what's been going on this week and it's been a pretty busy week really. On Monday we had the first meeting of the Facilitation Fund Board where we made a few decisions on uh, some of the first disabled people's user led organisations to um, benefit from the programme so that was pretty exciting and we'll be sending out more stuff about that pretty soon. Uh, yesterday I was at Leicestershire Centre for Integrated Living. I was talking to them about disability hate crime. They were very kindly invited me along to talk about uh, some of the stuff that's been done across the country um, and that's particularly interesting on the back of the Equality and Human Rights Commission's uh, report into disability crime on Monday. And then today I was actually at a really fascinating organisation called Bristol and South Gloucestershire People First, which is an organisation run by and for people with learning disabilities. And uh, there's some really good stuff there going on. And uh, one thing I particularly liked was they um, are setting up a charity shop, which in and of itself isn't particularly uh, you know, um, different, um, although not many user-led organisations themselves do actually have a presence on the high street, uh, particularly in terms of retail. But I thought what was really interesting was that they put together a partnership with the City of Bristol College, um, where one of those tutors were going to come out to um, the charity shop uh, and train up, uh, I think, 10 or 15 people each academic year uh, of people who have learning difficulties um, so that they can get an MVQ level 2 uh, around things like customer care, retail and so on and so forth, um, so that as well as being employed in the charity shop itself, um, they can go on and get employment elsewhere. And for me, that was a really interesting and a really exciting example of how uh, disabled people's user-led organisations um, are going about doing things sort of slightly differently and trying to build their sustainability in different ways. So tomorrow uh, I'm off to Bristol again to the uh, West of England Centre for Independent Living, it's their AGM and I'll be talking there a little bit about the ULO's project and what it is we're trying to do. So uh, hopefully this has been useful, I'm going to do a few more updates and stuff like this as we go along. Lots of information on the blog which is arbitrary.wordpress.com and uh, yeah, hope you find this useful. Cheers then.